So welcome to another Creative Spin Podcast special edition. Yeah. I think this is going to be episode uh, episode 40? Yeah, this is 40. This is the 40, right? Yeah. This, this is why I had to be special. Yeah, exactly. So we're taking advantage of um, going uh, for a little bit of a road trip. Uh, we've been doing these road trips now for a couple of years. Yeah, fairly uh, often. We have, we have a client that's uh, outside of Toronto. It always takes us about 45 to minutes to an hour to get there. So we always have conversations in the car. And last week, I, you know, I was thinking, why don't we just throw some mics on, some laughs, get the GoPro going, and let's do, let's do an episode. Yeah, exactly. I think it'll be a good one. Today's podcast is brought to you by Workplace One, a company offering boutique private offices, co-working spaces, and virtual office solutions, as well as meeting rooms in the best neighborhoods of Toronto and Kitchener-Waterloo. Ideal for entrepreneurs, companies, and passionate business people. Workplace One is where you want to be with your business. For more information, go over to WorkplaceOne.com. Dude, 40 episodes, Colin. How's how's that been? Like, it's it's pretty crazy that we're already getting to number 40. Like, I like, remember when we were recording just number 20, and it was like, whoa, that's a wow. Lot. We got to 20, and, and now it's now, like 40. So we like, doubled that. Wow. So, but we've been uh, uh, one of the things that I do like is uh, so this this episode will be like a review. Yeah. Right, a review of all the stuff that we've gone through, all the things that we've learned, uh, the good and the bad, Definitely. and. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, one of the things that, um, that I, I, I'm kind of happy that we've maintained was that consistency. I think that was the biggest struggle we had in the beginning was trying to keep that consistency of, of having an episode ready every week. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, we're on the 40th episode. We've been go- coming out every week. I guess we've, we've accomplished it. We've yeah, got exactly. it. Exactly. Um, what do you think? Like, how how much has changed since that? Those first, let's say, those first ten episodes. I mean, I think like the biggest part of it all has been us learning kind of the process of what really takes to make a podcast to to really like go sort of thing. Like yeah. in the sense of from everything, from the questions we ask to how we set it up to how we edit it to how we look through everything. I think during the first 10 episodes we were having a, a fun time with it but now we've really kind of figured out what we want to be doing with it i think uh we're we're both a lot more comfortable yeah definitely. when when we're recording uh even from like a production side to even you know hosting the show and talking to people and all of that like i see a huge difference in in the episodes that i did in the beginning versus the ones oh, the, these sure, latest yeah. ones um for the better. <laughs> yes. Let's just yeah. add that. Uh, the other cool thing that I'm really, really loving is the um, the comments on the on the videos, uh, the interaction with people that are watching our, our videos and watching our podcasts. I think that's awesome to see the community kind of building and coming together. Yeah, um, it's been huge. The, the feedback has been growing with us, and I think yeah. that yeah, we're seeing a lot of familiar faces now coming back, and we. All the people that are watching, like, you guys know we've been having great conversations with you. And even sort of some of the episodes that we've done have been literally suggestions by you guys, which yeah, is super yeah. cool. And I think that that's, that's another big part that I forgot to mention is kind of the, like, the collaboration that these 40 episodes have kind of developed with mm-hmm. our audience. I mean, we just did, uh, you know, a few of them. But, uh, like, Jared, the last week or two weeks ago, um, he was, you know, he reached out to us, uh, Michael... We've had a couple of people already yeah. in the show that, that, you know, just reached out. And, uh, and yeah, and I, you know, one of the things that I'm going to keep on, on asking is keep commenting, keep saying something and, and letting us know what, what you think about what we're doing, if you have any ideas or anything like that. And just, just keep it down there. Um, you know, you'll get either me or Colin commenting back. This is a team effort uh, just because... My my face, my mug is uh, on the top banner there of the channel. Doesn't mean yeah. that it's just me. This is a team effort as well. Like Creative Seven is Creative Seven. It's everybody involved. So, and and that's the way I think. That's another thing that uh, we've been pretty good at is that uh, we'll jump into the comments as much as we can. The two of us, 
uh, Anna will take a look and peek as well. But you know, the cool thing is that the fact that we have more than one person taking care of the comment section is actually very cool because this way we'll keep always up to date with uh, with what's going on on the yeah, comment session definitely. section. And yeah, I mean, if it's if it's something important, obviously you'll let me know or I'll let you know, and we all, we're always on the loop on that sense. And I think I think we kind of solved that little problem that a lot of people out there are are having is that they they might not be engaging with the with their um, with their audience as much as they should. And uh, proof of that is is what we've been doing, right? Yeah. We've been engaging a lot with our with our viewers, and it's uh, you see you see that growth, that that, that feedback coming in. Um, yeah, I think it's like important that kind of like what we had touched on on the podcast with Jared speaking of that podcast in terms of sort of the different landscape of sort of the business sector that's kind of been developing over these past years is is really that collaboration and that connectivity with the people around you yeah like don't be scared because for YouTube for example for us what's worked the best is that's who we we've been talking to we've been talking to all of you guys and we all have similar ideas for what we want to be doing whether it's creating these videos about a lifestyle or a business like we there's all this like interconnectivity between Absolutely. each and every one of our channels and it's it, yeah. and it's those different views that kind of let us allow us to grow as as an individual or as a show or as a as a company right is is being able to have those interactions with uh, with different people just to get those different ideas right and like yeah the cool a big cool part of it too is sort of the like world wideness <laughs> if i could say of it all like one I know. Of, one of the guys, I Spike. This is a shout out to you, man. You've been with this channel with us for so long now, giving yeah. us a, a lot of feedback all the way from Australia, and it's incredible. Yeah, right? it's... It, it goes to show that it really helps to show how many good people there are out there, and that it, even in times of toughness or whatever, right? Like, but the like mindedness. I think that's what yeah. kind of brings everybody together, right? What about from a uh, a production standpoint? I mean. 40 episodes now just on on podcasting you must be doing this with your eyes closed or uh, or you're always trying to evolve and implement different things different different ways of editing different i don't know filters to make me look uh, that's gonna be hard <laughs> that's gonna be hard. yeah the toughest part of the job for <laughs> tough, sure. that's tough man no it's honestly like it's funny that you mentioned that literally last night i was episode i was um editing the episode that you'll see after this episode which is an oh no awesome. before this episode Yes, before right, this before episode. This, yeah. yeah, we're going meta here. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> so the episode that you guys watched last week, which is, I think, an awesome, awesome uh, conversation with Anthony Dessau, uh, yeah. great, uh, great author. I actually really enjoyed that episode, not only because of the great conversation that was being had, but also because I figured out another little, like, technique, a little switch that I can implement to... Uh, speed up the process of the whole editing and and so. and it's interesting you're saying that because uh, you know even yesterday i was talking to a friend of mine and, and he wants to get into doing videos he's he does he's been doing uh, video editing for a while but uh, more more in the sense of short films and things like that okay, so nothing yeah. for youtube or anything but uh and he's like he was thinking oh let me i need to plan this out i need to do this and i one of the one of the um not suggestions but i mean one of the pieces of advice i gave him was just just go for it just yeah. start doing it because you learn so much as you you're doing this stuff and and then you'll pick up an idea from this guy and then you'll pick up another tip from the other video you watch and then you you can start slowly implementing and finding out exactly what works and what doesn't work because if you if you're going to wait for the right moment to do the edit to do the video yeah. it's it, you're always going to be waiting because yeah. there's always going to be new things coming out. Yeah. So I even told him, listen, whatever you post this year, next year, if you find that you could have done a better job, then make version two of that video, you know, and just keep keep going, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, with uh, the Creative 7 podcast, like part of the great learning experience has been creating these episodes. But this isn't the only productions that we are producing. Like, yeah, of course. Every week we have multiple podcasts going out for multiple different clients. And I think that that's one of the things too that is important to realize is the behind the scenes stuff, that instant gratification, which we touch on a lot, but now, yeah. every time we talk about it, it comes to mind. It's all about like 
just persevering and kind of working towards the goal of what you want to achieve in order to achieve it. It doesn't just sort of come out like you go to bed and the next morning you wake no, up a superstar. And there's right? so many little details. It's it's amazing. Like so many little things in, in the production side on the on the on the actual video side of things when you're recording. And there's just so much that you will only learn if you start doing it. There's exactly. no other way of doing this. Yeah. There's no you can study as much as you want you can watch as many <laughs> videos as you want yeah. and think and plan and and it's you know what i think the best thing to do is just jump into it start doing it figure things out i think that once you're on, on that pressure zone yeah and where you have to do it you have to get it done then then you will get it and you will find the solution because otherwise you're just going to be looking for things that you want to do and it's just going to drag on and drag on and drag on right yeah so where do you see the next step? Are we going to be doing a lot more of these? I think so. Yeah, I yeah. think we can start throwing these guys in. Like, we, like this. This will be uh, literally the the usual conversations that we have. Yeah. Because we do this every week almost. Yeah, pretty and, much. And it, it, we kind of mix in a, a little meeting on the way to to our client. We it's all always about talk efficiency, right? It's all about that, man. And, <laughs> and you know. We've, we've been talking about doing this for a while. Like, oh, yeah. Let's shoot, let's grab a camera, let's do this. And now it's like we completely did not complicate this at all. We got the GoPro uh, right there in the smack in the middle. It catches the two of us. This is the, that kind of episode today. And, uh, and you know what? We're driving, but we're not paying attention to the camera, to any screen. So we're not putting anybody in danger. Exactly. Um, and we're just, we're just talking like we usually do anyway. So I think, you know, whatever we can get from these conversations that, that can help you guys that are watching us, I think it's, it'll be a cool, cool little adventure, right? Yeah, definitely. So where do you see the podcast in uh, episode 80? Let's double the numbers. Episode 80, damn, that's... I, I wonder, like, I, I'm, I've been super happy with how we've been developing throughout now but right. like i feel like what the the steps that we've taken compared to what is coming next will look like baby steps i think but like i i, I actually i really like the the format that we've kind of developed for ourselves i mean it's nothing new obviously more people are doing what we're doing but uh, for us i think we've gotten to that comfort zone and we're, we're pretty comfortable with the equipment we have with the quality that's coming out. I think now it's really, and let me know your opinion, but I think now it's tweaking what we have to better it a little bit. So we'll better the, the you know, the video, we'll better the sound, we'll better the, I don't know. I don't think there's much more that can be done to something like this, to this kind of format. I think yes and no. Like, I think that we, we do have quite a bit of a, a good streak now, but at the same time, there are some things that we've touched on on previous episodes that I think that hopefully will make a comeback in sort of like a bigger way. Like, for example, instead of just having regular podcasts every single week, something that we can implement as well, and now that I'm thinking kind of off the top of the head, is those like firing rounds, right? Yeah. So instead yeah, of having... We did once. Uh, we, we did that exactly. once, Exactly. Right? So instead of having like a full episode... Uh, like let's say the 25 30 that's another thing we're going to be extending episode lengths i think for the youtube audiences yeah but another thing is those firing rounds so that some weeks you're just getting like bang 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 information based on something with a random uh interviewee that's in with us that week and mm -hmm. then other weeks you're going to have more of the the casual kind of candid discussion like we're having now and just like a meeting format another week we're going to be having what you guys have been seeing a lot more of where it's the sit down sort of situations like i think that in that sense you can expect a bit more diversity in what will be coming to the channel yeah and i think that that's really where we can kind of I don't know, tweak in that sense. What you know, you touched, on, you touched on one thing, which was the length of our videos uh, currently on YouTube. And I think that's, that's an interesting point right there. Uh, initially, when we started doing this, we were putting the full video. And then we said, oh, you know what, let's just chop it up and, and get only like 10 to 15 minutes and have the full version be only on audio. So for those of you who have been just listening to us, to us on on audio on, on a podcast uh, app, you've been listening to the whole interview. Most of the episodes though on YouTube, they're not, they're not fully there. No, they're so cut, they like, yeah. we'll have, let's say a 25 minute episode and we only had 12, 15 minutes of it. Um, 
But now we're, we're kind of changing things around because I think we've realized that whoever jumps into to the channel, to these episodes, to, to watch, to listen to the podcast, it's, it's a different ty- type of, of end user, I think, of, of YouTube. We always think about YouTube, oh, you need to go short form, you need to do just, uh, you know, the, the, the three to six minutes uh, a video, otherwise people will get bored. But this is different. This yeah. is a podcast. And I think when people tune into a podcast, they're waiting, they're expecting to be watching something for a little bit longer, or listening to something a little bit longer. Yeah, like they're more used to the fact that they can switch tabs and kind of continue listening even while they're working or doing something else. And hey, listen, I, I, I listen to, let's say, Joe Rogan as an example. If you don't know who Joe Rogan is, <laughs> you can, you know, just dig yourself out, out of that box. <laughs> uh, so Joe Rogan, he's notorious for doing long podcasts. Like he'll go, I've, I've listened or watched a podcast of his that go up to like three hours like it's yeah. insane but you know what the funny part is when i'm in the studio i'll throw the, the the video onto the tv while i'm working and it's almost like a background thing that's going on it's like a radio station that's that's playing in the background and whenever something is interesting something that you know piques my interest i look at the at the tv i'll look at the video part and I think a lot of people are doing that while they're working. They're just putting that podcast on the side, on the side window, or just minimize it. And then they'll just look at it whenever it's something interesting or, or whenever they want, right? Yeah, I think, exactly. I think it's it's seen more as a almost like the radio in the background idea, right? Yeah, and I think there's like, to an, an extent, it's, it's a good thing because at the end of the day, the content's still being consumed. You're still learning and... It's exactly that. It's a radio station. Just instead of listening to music or whatever, you're listening about what we're talking about, whether it be business yeah. or. And, and the cool thing about having it in different platforms is, I find myself uh, like I'm, I'll be watching, listening uh, to a podcast on at the studio, and then I'll go walk the dog. But I'll jump into the the iTunes app and I'll find the episode and I'll continue listening to it yeah. while I'm going around the block with the dog. And then when I get back, I just fast forward it to the point where I was again and I just continue listening to it yeah. like that. I, I think we're we're now more much more comfortable with using all of these apps um, and using all this tech to our advantage. Uh, I think before we you know every all of this stuff was new. Uh, it was more difficult for us to kind of grasp how things work but nowadays i think it's 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 cool to have all of these options and oh, yeah. put it out there right yeah like i i for that 100% agree that the the use of being a, the the being able to like you're saying switch from if you're listening to it on your laptop then to your desktop then to your cell phone like that's why the long form content is working because of just the ease of use the ease of switching these apps to to make sure that you're still consuming the content is super valuable absolutely now you're talking about uh technology and uh the dgi mini just popped into my head when you were saying when you were talking about tech and i know you you're uh you're a drone flyer yes sir uh not as much lately no yeah <laughs> But, you know, have you uh, checked it out? Have you seen the, yeah, the stuff that's going phenomenal. on? It's what like, it's everything that the Spark should have been. Um, really? Yeah. The, the quality is pretty, like, the quality is insane for such a small device that you can... I've, I've heard a lot of uh, comments out there that, oh, the quality is not as good as the other one. Like, you're also not getting a full-blown drone. Right? I mean, like the size of it compared to the sensor of the the larger, even if we're speaking of Phantom or the Inspires, like those guys, yeah, you have something that takes up like, I don't know, like two feet square, like it's enormous. But Yeah, and, and you're not comparing apples to apples. I think, you know, when I hear a lot of this stuff, I think people need to really understand that you need to compare apple, apples to apples. This is a much smaller, it's half the size. And it's $300 versus $3,000. Exactly. The the price is, is there's a huge difference in price and size obviously you're not gonna get the same quality I mean but even that I would say that the quality is like with the mini it's insane like it, legit, is, it, it at, is more than enough for anybody that's doing any um, you know of their own videos or they don't if you're doing production full production stuff 
I get it. I get it. You, you're going to get the best uh, drone out there, so you get the better quality. Yeah, I get but that. the most most but of the end most users people, for it, like who it's targeted to, you are getting much more con- much more quality than you'll ever really need. Honestly, yeah. like it's it's as good. I'd say comparable to the the Mavic Two. Um, and in that sense, I think it's it's pretty phenomenal that you can stick it in your lunchbox. Basically, it's that small. <laughs> Literally, if you if you have a big uh, a big back pocket, yeah, you can, so you can fit it in there. So that's that's pretty good. Um, the other piece of tech that came out, the AirPods. The AirPods Pro. Pros, yeah. I, everything's pro, right? Yeah, you exactly. gotta be pro everything. Did you check that out? I, I'm a bit curious, honestly. Like for me, my current AirPods. I'm having a bit of trouble. I don't know if my ear has really? changed format or something. Dude, when you're I, mutating, man. I know. When I first <laughs> bought AirPods, they worked fine, but now the right one's always quiet, and I can the barely right ear. hear anything out of it. So, so you know, the next step, uh, your ear is going to fall. I think I mean, so. That, that's yeah. usually usually. I mean, I don't want to scare you yeah, with anything. I'm but going deaf to the right, nah. But the pros, they seem pretty cool. Uh, I do like sort of the the noise cancellation feature. At the same time, though, it could get for people that get headaches easily and whatnot. I do see that problem there. Yeah, I see it for the, the. I mean, the. Listen, this is my thing. If you want to have silence around you when you're listening to music, I don't think you should go with the type of that type of thing. in-ear head. Uh, you know, earbud, get yeah. yeah earbuds. You should get headphones. Exactly. That can really you know get get close to your ear and and cover all that uh, you know exterior noise and all that i think that's the best way to do it uh but now this that being said if you're just walking around and you want the best quality yeah for sure i think i i think that they they look like they'll be the ones that people are going to pick up uh i'm happy with my old ones like yeah. i was talking to anna yesterday or the day before and i was telling her you know i just yeah, they're great, but I don't feel a need to go grab a pair. No, you know? I'm, honestly, like, I'm the same way, even though the one sometimes has a bit of an issue. Like, for me, the biggest thing was the loss. But is it the AirPod or your ear? I mean, I think it might be the AirPod. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's faulty. But, like, the cool thing for me was the losing of the wire. The wire was the yes. worst thing ever. And I remember how many times, if you're ever leaving, and you're, like, it would get caught on a doorknob oh my god or, the pain and it just like <laughs> r- tries to rip out your whole friggin ear and, or oh something like god. that and it was just like the headache that actually that caused. the the one of the reasons well i i i was wanting to get a pair but I, the last so, yeah the last the, straw the last straw was is exactly that i i thought my ear was gonna come out yeah and i said okay that's it no more wires, and I went to the Apple store and I picked I picked a pair up, and uh, and you know what? It's probably the the aside from my phone, the thing, the tech that I use the most oh, every yeah. single day, every yeah. single time. It's always on me. Yeah, always. I, like I almost pick up my phone more often when I get a phone call. I'm like, oh, earpods in, yeah. just because it's so much easier. Oh, especially like, if you're working, yeah. right? You're working, you can keep on talking and your hands are free it's amazing and for us like since we have sort of apple ecosystems at our offices like you can switch like whether you're on your laptop your desktop or your phone so you easy. never have to take them out of your ear you just click a button and it switches the connection yeah, it's very like easy. that for me is huge like when i finish working on the desktop and i'm going to lie in bed but i want to have my earbuds in so the person i'm with isn't annoyed by what i'm listening to I don't even take them out. I just switch them to my laptop, lie down, and I'm good to yeah. relax. Like no, I really definitely, like that. Uh, uh, it's definitely the piece of tech I I I'm, I always have with me. It's yeah. like I grab my phone, grab my AirPods, and I'm out the door. Kind the of thing. one thing I'm a bit curious about though is I'm kind of scared by the fact that this stuff is in my ear all the time. You know those magnets in there? Yeah. I don't know, man. And the constant, like, the Bluetooth is constantly connecting to your phone and it's constantly sending an outwards uh, signal. And you hear it, though. Yeah. Have you ever been, like, laying down in bed, uh, just scrolling through whatever, right? And those silent moments while you're scrolling and there's no sound, don't you hear something on the air? Like, I hear, like, a little buzzing sound. Yeah, every once like, in a while. I remember at the beginning, I don't know if it was just like a placebo or something, but I did feel like my head hurt a bit. 
I don't know if it was from the AirPods or maybe I was sick at the time when I first no, got I the AirPods. No, I kind of felt the same way too. Like, but there was, that's scary, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. We're all kind of, we're all going down together. That's the yeah. way I see it because everybody's wearing them. So yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in a couple of years when they discover, you know what? Your brain's being fried. So yeah. maybe that's why I'm forgetting so many things. I think, honestly. Should I start blaming the AirPods and not my gray hair? I think, I think that's it. I think that's I'm going to start it. doing all that. the AirPods, man. Damn AirPods, man. That's why I forget everything. Can't believe it. Anyways, I think uh, how many minutes do we have on this podcast, man? We're about 25 minutes in. Woo! All right. We're going to call it a quits. Yeah. We're halfway there. <laughs> we could record like three episodes yeah. uh, and two more on the back, on the way back. Um, but we won't. We won't because uh, now it's time for us to have the uh, extra secret confidential meeting of Creative 7. Yeah. <laughs> not uh All the but million dollar secrets but uh colin i think i think this is going to be it man i think uh we're going to be recording a podcast episode every time we have to leave the city yeah how's that sounds great all right sounds good all you guys you know what to do you know how to smash hit punch i don't know whatever you want to do to that subscribe button just do it uh just don't kill it um because we need it for tomorrow. Yeah, and thanks for sticking around <laughs> for 40 episodes. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be around for 40 more. We'll be here. We will. We will be here, for sure. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. I guess I owe you.